All right, here's what we're looking at this evening. A lot of green on the radar right now, drifting from west to east across the region. Not all of this is reaching the ground, but we do have some intermittent showers taking place with a few rumbles of thunder here and there. Nothing severe, garden variety. And here is a look at the latest. Marshall County, Minnesota and the Grigla area seeing a few sprinkles down towards just north of Thief River. Now, as we travel west into the Kitson County area, Kennedy, Donaldson, all the way out towards Carlstad, seeing a soaking shower. These are drifting to the east at around 25 to 35 miles per hour. And one shower passing in the same path as the next. So some persistent showers in some of these areas with the flow being from west to east. Here's a look at Cavalier rumble of thunder in your area. These are not towering thunderstorms, not even really the threat of hail with these, but a quick soaking shower heading towards Langdon once again. And these are all initiating in and around Rock Lake and points north. Here's the Devil's Lake area and moving over the lake right now is a couple of bands of showers passing out of the Madoc area. And as we take you into Lakes Country, Minnesota, from Clay County and northern and western Becker County through just north of the DL area. Right now we have some soaking showers again drifting to the east as we speak uh, heading out towards Park Rapids and Ottertail County right over the big lake just exiting a shower. That's Ottertail Lake and heading uh, north of Battle Lake and in towards the Wadena area here in the next couple of hours. Severe weather making its way along the Minnesota and Iowa border right now. Chance for some severe thunderstorms, mainly in southern Minnesota. But look at this. Three thunderstorm warnings, three tornado warnings down in portions of Nebraska. As storms take aim on the Omaha area here as we head toward the later evening hours. Here's a look at your high temperatures thus far today. 79 Grand Forks. We did make 80 in Fargo-Moorhead. 79 Fergus and 72 in Rosso. Here's a look at the Skycam live shot right now. We do have those high clouds. No showers threatening to move in from the west. That's the direction they're coming from. 77 degrees. Wind from the south southwest at 10. Aberdeen in the 80s, but everyone else in those 70s in North Dakota. We have a 63 in Langdon where the showers just fairly persistent keep redeveloping. It's 69 Thief River and 72 in Detroit Lakes. Hour by hour forecast this evening. Shower potential diminishes pretty rapidly as we go beyond sunset, but overnight a few more clouds build in and by daybreak we could see a few sprinkles. Nothing severe, just passing showers of rain along the international border. Temperatures in the 50s to start out our weekend. Now as we go through the midday hour, we're going to see an increase in shower chances from the south. And look at this, everyone with a chance of hit and miss showers passing through. Winds from the west northwest 15 to 25 miles per hour. It will be a cool day in the northern valley out there with rain chances continuing until the late evening hours as we glide towards Father's Day on Sunday. So a wet Saturday between 10 a.m. and 10 p.m. a chance of hit and miss showers and storms with 70s. At best, most of us in the 60s throughout the better part of the weekend. A few 70s here and there across the valley. Showers a good bet on your Saturday. Heading into Father's Day, though, whether you're fishing or golfing, it looks like temperatures will generally be in the 60s across the board. Take a look at this Nick Rail photograph of the tree there with a few clouds dancing around. Wilkin County, Minnesota, a back road sunset indeed. Now, a look at your planning forecast. Rain, best chances Saturday, hit and miss on Father's Day itself, but cooler with most areas in the 60s. And next week, we return to seasonable weather in the upper 70s. Nothing too hot, hit and miss showers. That'll be okay with 70. Indeed. Right? Yeah, yeah, it's cool. Thank you. Yes.